Hey there, it's Pete over at The Samplist and today we're checking out Petrus Vass Strings from Orchestral Tools. Orchestral Tools have teamed up with the award-winning composer Petrus Vass to bring a unique collection of ensemble chamber strings complete with first chairs. Inspired and guided by Vass himself and his piece Voices, this is a chamber string library that is rich in detail, expression and life. Not only is this collection perfect as a more traditional chamber string library, orchestral tools have sampled Petrus Vass' unique articulations which are presented here as gestures. Recorded at St John's Church in Riga, everything about this library screams passion, emotion and uniqueness. Petrus Vass Strings features a full ensemble chamber string section and first chairs and it downloads 96.7 GB Synarc Compress. The samples were captured in 24-bit 48k resolution and currently it's on intro sale for 449 euros and it will go up to 549 euros thereafter. Please note prices exclude VAT. In this video we're going to take a look at the different sections that make up Petrus Vast Strings and listen to the instruments in isolation and check out all of these wonderful unique gestures. After that, as usual, I've put this into a contextual composition featuring only Petrus Vast Strings and I've tried to show the more traditional chamber side of the string section and then the second section looks at some of the gestures so we can hear what this library is capable of. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. And here we have the Petrus Vass strings loaded up in the Orchestral Tools sign player. And before we go any further, I just want to play the violin one legato patch. They sound incredible and they really captured the St. John's Church in Riga. It's just an amazing space to record, but the detail is just incredible. They are stunning. Uh, straight out the box, they sound amazing. There's no processing. This is just completely out of the box. Now, we're going to hear a lot of these strings. However, let's talk about how the library is put together. So on the left-hand side, you can see you've got ensembles and first chairs. And if you go into each of the folders, you'll see there are our violin ones, twos, violas, celli, and bass. But underneath, you have the gestures as well for each of the instruments. And these are your more extended articulations that are very unique to this library. But let's start off with the violin. So I've actually loaded up all of the loaded articulations and you can see there are plenty of articulations for each instrument. So these are the more traditional articulations. So legato. Absolutely stunning. Then we go to sustains. And when you're using the mod wheel, the expression is just fantastic. Just stunning. Then we've got sustains soft. Thank you. 
And of course, I'm only playing very, very simple uh, sort of uh, notes and chords, just so we get an idea exactly what these sound like. Then we've got the whispered sustains and legato. Just gorgeous. You have those overtones. Um, yeah, again, just character through and through. And then we have uh, Sassane's Whispered. Delicate, stunning. Then sustains whispered soft. Potate. Marcate. Staccato. And spiccato. And these are incredibly responsive. Beautiful. And pizzicato. Tremolo. And tremolo short. They have trills. Measured trills. And the trills do tempo sync to your DAW, which is amazing. And then we've got uh, harmonic sustains. And again, the detail is just absolutely incredible. And then a harmonics tremolo. So you can hear 
there are lots of, like say, more traditional articulations. However, things like the harmonic tremolo, you don't see too often or the tremolo short. So yeah, these are really, really cool. So let's go back to the library. And I'm gonna remove the violins one. And let's just, whoops, check out some individual patches. Um, so we're gonna do the gestures afterwards. Now the violins too, I'm not gonna play through um, every articulation, but just get an idea of the sonic difference of the second violins. So again, they just sound stunning. And I love the shorts. Absolutely beautiful. So obviously I always recommend going to the developer YouTube channel on the website to hear every instrument. And of course you can hear, sorry, not hear, you can buy the instruments separately as well. So if you only wanna sort of have a smaller ensemble or um, more of a traditional one, you're not too fussed about the gestures, but believe me, the gestures are incredible. Um, you can do that. So it's amazing that Orchestral Tools offers that. So let's look at the violas in a little bit more detail. And we're gonna start off with the Sustain and Legato. Again, stunning. And I love the vibrato. Um, I always talk about, I love controlled vibrato in terms that we can sort of MIDI uh, control it, but the natural vibrato. It's so expressive. I absolutely love it. So let's check out the um, soft sustains. In fact, I'm going to load up the articulations again. Um, interesting note, uh, I'm making this video on my mobile uh, laptop rig. So I can actually comment on how lightweight the instrument is because I've had no issues. I'm using an i7 uh, processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And yeah, it's just running like an absolute dream, which is incredible. So let's check out some soft sustains. They are absolutely gorgeous. Let's do uh, Whispered. Beautiful. And let's go, uh, let's play some shorts, uh, staccato. And 
check out the tremolos. Amazing. And I will say it's uh, part of the fun when you get a new library is just exploring it for yourself. So um, you can have a full walkthrough, uh, but I'm just going to give you the highlights, as it were, because we've got all the gestures to get through and the first chairs. It's a huge library, essentially. Um, so the cello, one of my all time favorite cellos already or cello, sorry. Absolutely beautiful. And then got the sustains. Stunning. Let's check out the Marcato. That room sound is just incredible. Um, let's go for the trills. Very, very cool. And let's play the harmonic sustains. Stunning. So there is so much variation in dynamics in this library. Um, yeah so so much content as it were um i was gonna look at the bases the bases again are incredible <laughs> Lovely. And let's hear the sustains. And I love the low end. It's like it growls. Just 
just stunning. Okay, so that's a sort of quick overview of the ensembles. And then we have the gestures. Now, the gestures are these amazing articulations, and they're very unique to Petrus Vess and obviously this library and orchestral tools they're not just inspired by Petrus Vass they actually worked with him uh, creating this library so you're going to find things in here that you're not going to find anywhere else so I'm back on the violins one and these are the finger tremolo And they're great. And they're not just effects for effects sake. These are still playable melodic instruments, but you can just create so many cool sounds. Absolutely love them. And then we got the, in fact, I'm going to load the whole folder up. Um, play through all of these. Then we've got the Glissando Fifths. And then Glissando Octaves. Amazing. And then it goes up to two octaves as well. Brilliant. And then we have the Glissando Trills fifths. And the same for the octaves. So these are some incredible performances. And then Glissando Trills, two octaves. Then we have Glissando Effects. Very cool. And wavering longs. Stunning. And then upbeats. And upbeats down. And then there's some runs. And I believe these are modal. That runs elatoric. And finally, uh, Accelerando Climax. And these are really cool performances that you can use to end a piece. And that's a major ending, and I believe... You also have minor chord endings as well. Let's go play one more. Yeah. 
Beautiful. So that's the violin gestures. And once again, um, the violin two gestures, uh, you can see we have the same articulations across the instruments. Um, there are a couple of variations, I believe. Um, yeah, so the basses have slightly different uh, gestures going on. So let's just play um, Glissando Trills Octave on the violin too. And these are very delicate, so you might find yourself adjusting um, the sign player. But obviously, when you're in practice and you're composing, it makes no difference uh, that there's a slight volume discrepancy, as it were. Um, do... I love these wavering longs. They're just absolutely incredible. And the Aleatoric runs. Absolutely love as well. I love a bit of chaos. So. And again, the module is really responsive. Superb. And I could jump in with a couple of violas. So harmonic tremolo. Whoops. That is standard articulation. Uh, gestures. Accelerando. Let's do the glissando effects. have to excuse my uh, quite sudden shift in mod will use. I'm, I'm doing this on a uh, Microlab 25 key. I won't go into the reasons why I have to use a uh, mobile uh, setup today, um, but it is what it is. So yeah, um, I don't have the luxury of my S61 today, but you can hear again, these effects are just stunning. <laughs> And then we have the celli gestures as well. So let's do glissando octaves. And some upbeats. <laughs> And we do one more. Um, let's do the Glissando Trills two octaves. Lovely. And then we have the bass gestures as well. So there's slightly less or slightly fewer. Uh, Glissando fifth. Brilliant. Uh, octave trills. Glissando octave trills. Let's go play a single note.
And then uh, let's play the Accelerando Climax. <laughs> absolutely love it that one descends and there we go so that is the ensemble section so let's check out the first chairs and now we're on to the first chairs and i've decided to start off this time with the cello so this is the sustained lyrical legato <laughs> It is absolutely gorgeous. And again, that vibrato. It's just so, um, or lyrical. And the, the legato is just beautiful. I mean, that sort of fifth. just so emotive and we've got sustains but I'm going to go to the um, lyrical soft The dynamic range is, yeah, just beautiful. And sustains expressive legato. They're so um, agile as well. I did just fall off my dinky keyboard then. Um, or MIDI controller, sorry, not keyboard. Uh, yeah, but again, just wonderful. Um, sustains expressive. lovely i'm struggling a little bit to do uh, chord inversions because like i say it's a very very small keyboard and the mod wheel is tiny so i'm trying to use that more than um sort of stretching out and using two hands on the keyboard <laughs> and then we've got um sustained soltasto legato So I need to bring this up, really. I just think that, yeah, I'm running out of uh, the adjectives. Then we've got sustained soltasto. It's going to really bring that up.
lovely. And then um, it's the same soft has to soft. Beautiful textures, and then potato. Macate. Spicato. Pizzicato. Let's go bring those up. Uh, Tremolo. And then I love these short tremolo patches. Homily sustains. And again, the room sound. And harmonics tremolo. And that's that's an instant texture right there. Um, so that's the first chairs. And my impressions of the first chairs is, my goodness, these are clear as anything. Um, so just picking out from the violins. And I, I often sort of play um, solo or legato lines on first chairs on top of ensembles just to sort of give them more definition. And these just are completely perfect. So violin one. I mean, that's just haunting. There we go. Uh, it's expressive, sorry, expressive legato. Um... And then the soul tasto, which again, brilliant.
So delicate. Um, staccato shorts are amazing. Spicato. And the tremolo. Yeah, um, just wonderful. And I'll just play um, a couple of articulations. I mean, the, the video could go on for hours if I play through absolutely everything. So we've got our viola um, lyrical legato. Do love it, and I'll do the soltaste. It's just beautiful. Then we've got the bases. Um, let's remove those. The lyrical legato. just do um, the I do love the spiccato on these basses yeah um, so again it's a whistle stop going through uh, but I'm well aware that we're already probably about 50 minutes into the video um, and then the first chair gestures so, again, um, the clarity on these is just incredible. So on the violins. Beautiful. Um, waving longs. Reminds me of a dream I had last night. Just spooky. There we go. Um, yeah, so again, these just take what obviously what the ensembles do and uh, it almost like adds more clarity because they're first chairs. Well, I say clarity, I mean definition. And we'll just do some trills. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the the whole library and the rest of the first chairs uh, just have tons of these gestures uh, going on, which complement the ensemble. So I'm just going to play one more, wavering longs. I keep forgetting I've got to change octave on my little keyboard. <laughs> And you will notice that I'm constantly adjusting uh, the sign. The 
the sign player volume. Um, it's only because they, uh, the first chairs in the library, they seem quieter than the ensembles. But you would expect that because obviously you sing the instrument versus ensembles. Um, so that's the only reason I'm doing that. It makes no difference whatsoever when you compose. Um, I always compose all my instruments down at minus 15 dB and then adjust accordingly because I have all that headroom. So yeah, it's uh, like I say, it doesn't really make any difference whatsoever. Ever. What we're going to do now is jump into the composition and the first part of the composi uh, competition is all about the um, more traditional articulations and then later on there's a small section which uses the gestures and I'm going to say this is more of a, a collection of ideas than a composition from start to finish because the thing about the um, uh, Petrus fast strings is it's really really inspiring and it sends you off in lots and lots of different directions so I've put this piece together and we're going to talk about what it's like to compose with The idea behind the composition was to show how much contrast Petrus vast strings can have. So it starts off focusing on the celli and bass just with a nice delicate intro with some nice harmonics on the violin and then brings in the violin and the viola with more movement and we have melody and counter melody, bit of a climax and then it goes into a more of a gesture section using the gestures with the more standard articulations and the gestures are colour coded blue and the standard articulations are colour coded green. So let's just sort of jump in and we start off nice and low but like say with a harmonic sustain. So it's going to isolate uh, certain sections. We've got more sustained chords on the celli ensemble.
<laughs> and again, they just sort of swell in and out beautifully with the mud wheel. And the basses are just playing the root notes at this point. And that depth is incredible. And I played all of these in on my micro lab and even using like a really small mod wheel, the, the response was absolutely incredible. And then we got the Celli Legati with the first chairs. And as I say, I like adding uh, or defining these melodies or moving parts by combining them. And because I've given them different space in the mix, they're not uh, sort of phasing, I suppose, as it were. And yeah, they, they just sound uh, beautiful. And then this section brings in um, the violin in the higher part and more of a stereo spread, obviously, because we've got the violins over on the left. So really simple movement and I, I love using sustained notes um, going through chords. So you can hear the violin two legato coming in. So if I combine that with the celli ensemble and the basses, superb and I always like adding movement so really, really simple uh, pattern just following the chords and I did this in the um, Viola Ensemble Soft and the Whisper Soft so again if I just bring in the Violin 1 melody um, I'm actually just use the Lyrical first chairs and the basses. And then with the main uh, ensemble melody. So again, incredibly simple lines just interweaving, um, but the instruments just sound beautiful. Now I did, for the purpose of this, uh, try uh, sort of working on the grid, as it were, um, and I'll try to approximate the uh, negative delay I needed to put on each track um, to make it sound together. Um, again, normally I don't work on the grid in such a way, but I like trying it with different libraries because I know a lot of people do like to compose like that. And uh, again, I was looking at around minus 120 to 150 for most patches. We've got the second section.
going to stop it there. So um, the text just sort of gets a little bit thinner around here. Um, I absolutely love this run. And one thing I'm thinking as I'm sort of playing through this, maybe my negative delay times are a little bit out. Um, but when you got this sort of run, bring in this section in. Um, like I say, it's very lyrical and very expressive. So writing these parts of all this movement is nice and straightforward and easy to do. There is the odd moment where I might have been a little bit overzealous with the mod wheel. Um, just thinking in the legato, eh, not too bad. Um, so, so you can hear, you've got to be very, very precise. And um, generally, I, f I feel like I have been. Um, but there is the odd moment where sort of the odd instrument sort of jumps out. I think actually on this melody here. Um... Yeah. So I can hear this legato melody here. Oh, what's going on there? Um, so it's more here. So if I play that more smoothly, It would probably help that transition a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so really, really straightforward to, to just create compositions. Um, easy to play. And then we have the gestures. So I do start off with a glissando octave. And that just adds to the climax. that transition there um i love the wavering longs so we've got the cello uh celli and we have the viola climax playing together slightly overshot the celli there um but yeah it, just where else are you going to find performances like this and to give your sort of pieces character? And I'll double that with the violin tremolo and just cello sort of keeping a, a small rhythm. So we've got a bit more of a driving rhythm in the staccato, so I did want to show that off. Love the power behind, uh, behind those. And then I played rhythmically the same, but playing some sort of like strange pizzicato on the violin. It was quite uh, quite late at night when I was uh, working on this. Not that it has much bearing, but it's uh, quite um, a bizarre line. And combining, obviously, with the glissando and the editor it runs. I'm just using the mod wheel gently to bring these in and out. I 
couple more uh, gestures towards the end as well. Um, yeah, and that sort of finish off the piece, but obviously using violin, tremolo, etc. I don't want to just click the S there. There we go. <laughs> And then the composition comes to an end. And I did say it's more of a collection of ideas to show how contrasting the Petrus vest strings are. You can go from beauty with just soft moving lines to these amazing gestures, which are um, completely unique performances to add character and colour to your pieces. So... Yeah, uh, my composing experience. Well, out of the box, the strings sound incredible. And they are so playable. For the first hour or so, I was just loading up the instruments and just playing different lines, different chords, and just really, really having a lot of fun with it. And it is a big instrument. So working out what you're going to put into a composition can be quite daunting at first. What I do recommend is creating a template. Um, you can either key switch all of the instruments or you can put the articulations, the ones you're generally going to use onto single tracks. If you really want to, you can just do the whole um, library on separate tracks. But then the fun begins because you can just play, you can blend, you can see what fits well together, what combinations sound great. Um, the legato really is superb really really easy to program um the mod wheel uh the modulation just going through all the different uh velocity layers round robins etc really really great and yeah it does need attention um especially when you're using the mod wheel to make sure um you're not sort of jumping out too much but that's just the same for any string library so the longer you use it the more you get used to it and i've got to say um with the hours I've spent with this library it gets sort of quite straightforward and even easier to use I mean it is easy to use out the box but even easier uh, a bit more second nature and it did actually remind me of Talon um, the strings in there a lot just in terms of the response because I love those strings and I love performing and playing with them and this is very very similar um, such a playable instrument and of course the sampling quality is amazing the room sound uh, the nuances it just all comes together perfectly so what are my thoughts on Petrus vest strings it's a big library and it possibly could be everything you need at the chamber string library um, the room sound is incredible the sampling is detailed it's got everything going on there but it's not just that it's the how well it's been thought out you've got your ensembles you've got your first chairs you've got all the gestures again for the ensembles and first chairs so the sonic capability from this library is absolutely incredible do i recommend it um it is a huge recommendation and again i'll mention that orchestral tools allow you to buy the instruments individually so you don't have to go all in straight at the same time obviously i do recommend if you can um to do so because you'll get the whole uh instrument in one go but if not then yeah um just pick and choose what you want and build your own ensembles and it's just a great feature to have all that leads me to say is thank you so much to Orchestral Tools for sending over a copy of Petrus Vass Strings for us to make this video. I'm, you know, really, really pleased and excited and uh, just love this library. So I'd love to know your thoughts. If you like what you saw, like what you heard, feel free to leave a like on the video and drop us a comment. What do you like about the library? What do you think about the room sound, um, the articulations, the gestures, anything you want to talk about, go for it. And if you're not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos on YouTube. And then head over to thesamplist.com to see what's going on in the world of virtual instruments. And yeah, until next time, have a superb day. Thank you so much for watching and catch you soon.